Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP2020 Outdoors. Welcome to the first episode of the Baku Flatlander e-bike Groundhog Chronicles. Stay tuned, this should be fun. <laughs> All right, folks, so here's my setup. I'm tucked in the woods here. If you're seeing a tunnel vision, it's because of my phone scope adapter. I'm gonna leave it on so I don't keep on taking it off. But anyways, I'm kind of excited. I want, I want you guys to check this out. I gotta thank Accurate Mag. Man, these are the most awesome magazines for an AICS. You talk about 100% reliability feeding, no issues whatsoever. There's my Ruger 204. All right, folks, I got one at 362 yards. Here we go, taking the shot. Smoked them. Heck yeah. Right off the bat. 362 yards. Shooter app was calling for 0 0.8 mils come up. Alright folks, I got one at 258 yards. Shooter app is calling for 0.3 mils come up. Smoked them. All right, folks, I got one at 179 yards. Smoked them. All right, folks, I got one at 367 yards. Shooter app is calling for 0 0.8 mils come up. Smoked them. 367 yards. All right, folks, I got one at 402 yards. Smoked them. Man, I'm telling you what, this 204 Ruger just reaches out and touches them. All right, folks, I'm going to do something I never had been able to do before. Probably because I was too lazy. I'm going to recover these groundhogs. Hopefully, I can remember where they're all at. Stay tuned. Sorry for the Batman angle. 
nice size groundhog. Oh, I just seen one running right there. All right, I'm gonna. I don't know if I can fit these all in my backpack or not. I think I'm gonna be hard pressed to get five in here. <laughs> The first one right there. Oh, a big old blind. Look at that one. Well, that's a big one. Look, leaving the fur on the back there. Not sure where this last one I shot. He was over the uh, over the ridge a little bit, and couldn't quite tell getting the correct yardage. All right, folks. So I searched low and high along these pine trees. That fifth one, the last one, I definitely heard the thwop, so I know I nailed him. Just couldn't find him. I'm thinking. I was looking at the angle. There's a hole right there probably fell straight down his hole. All right, let's keep going. All right, folks, if you look closely, that's definitely blood. So that was one of the ground hogs. Definitely went down in his hole, and I'm not gonna reach my arm down in there. <laughs> All right, folks, this is the last one. Well, I couldn't find those last two. I <laughs> finally got one. See that, folks? They end up in their hole. Well, that's a big one right there, buddy. Heck yeah. I think that's what happened to those other two. They just ended up right in their hole. Anyways, that's number five. Alright. Oh, that's a load now. Too much fun. All right, let's head back to my stand. That was an adventure. There's my rifle. Whoops. All right, folks. Not too bad. So I shot at five, and I'm pretty sure I hit all five. I heard my confirmation is that telltale thwop. Only recovered three, but I think the other two probably fell down in their hole just like that last one. Pretty awesome, man. The Baku Flatlander e-bike definitely helped me out, buddy. Because there's no way I'd walk. You know, that was probably at least a mile walking up and down that hill. Anyways, that was pretty cool. One thing awesome about that Indian Creek Designs. Hero, the MoFo chassis, folds right up. Nice little package. All right, folks, let's head back to the truck. I think all in all, that was a pretty good success. Baku, Baku Flatlander e-bike. Pretty awesome. Dude, I probably haven't gotten one-fourth of the ground I've ever in this field. Crazy. I'll tell you what, man, this is awesome. This is just beginning. This was uh, episode one. That's right. Episode one, the Groundhog Carnival. Two, Flatlander, e bike. Yeah, I'm going to do I'm just going to ride the grass back. It's not like that gravel road that's too doggone noisy. 
All right, folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Remember, support that Second Amendment. We'll see you later, and I thank you.